Let's take a look at zooming on a TI Inspire calculator. First one we'll take a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay. I'm going to turn my calculator on. And um, if yours isn't that set in the disk screen, go ahead and press your on button. It should go back to here. Um, well, maybe it won't, but menu does also. Um, once you get to here, you want to choose your graph. So I down arrow to that, and I'll press enter on it. Now if that pops up, you can uh, press escape to get out of that. And you should see F1 here. If you don't, press your tab. And if you keep pressing your tab, it'll eventually get to F1. And we'll put in our x squared. Minus 5x. Plus 6. And then we'll press enter. And um, you see it comes down a little bit below my x-axis. Um, but maybe I can't see it quite as well as I'd like uh, to. Uh, if I do press menu at this point, you see you got actions, view, graph entry, window zoom. Uh, window zoom is specifically what we're going to take a look at. So if you go down to that option, down arrow to it, and then on my right arrow, first one we'll take a look at is uh, zoom in. So you can down arrow to it and press enter, or you can just press the numbers in front of it. See the three there? So if I'd done a three, it would have down arrowed and entered for me. And I'll press enter. Now it's asking me for the center. You see that uh, display down at the bottom, uh, the bottom of the screen? And um, I'm going to use my arrow keys here, but um, you could. Um, this is kind of got a little mouse interface. I want to move this to where I want my center at. So I'll put it uh, right there. Now once you get where your center is, then you go ahead and press enter. And it'll zoom in based upon where you specified as your center. Now if I press enter again, it'll zoom in by another factor. And you can come over here, and I'll use my mouse now. Um, that be the same as you move this and you pretend this is a mouse. Uh, click there, and you can keep zooming in. Like that. Now we've zoomed in quite a bit. And um, to set it back, you press your menu. You choose Window Zoom, and I could have pressed the 4 to choose that very quickly. I do my right arrow key, and Zoom Standard is what sets it back to your standard viewing window. And I could simply press the 5, and then it sets it back to my standard viewing window. So that's Zoom In. Well, let's look at Zoom Box. So I'm going to press my uh, menu again. And um, I want to choose Window Zoom, which is there's a 4 next to it, so I just go ahead and press 4. And then I want to choose Zoom Box, which has a 2 next to it, so I just press the 2. Now it's ask, asking us for the first corner. So I'm going to move this to about right here. This is going to be the upper left-hand corner of our box we're going to draw. So maybe right there. Once you get it there, you press Enter one time. And then we'll do a down arrow. And we'll do the right arrow. And you should see a little box being drawn dots around it. Now once I press enter this is going to zoom in just on what I drew the box around. So if I press enter it zooms in just what I drew the box around. Very nice feature. It gives you total control over zooming. Now again remember to set this back. We're going to press menu and we're going to choose 4 for window zoom and then we'll do Z zoom standard which is 5. I'm not sure why they changed it because 6 uh, was zoom standard and every other TI calculator, I think. But anyway, I'll choose 5 for zoom standard. It sets me back to there. Okay. Next one we're going to take a look at is y is equal to x squared minus 400. So I want to go back to uh, entering in my, my uh, function. So I press my tab. And I do an up arrow to go to F1. And I'm going to press my... Um, uh, delete over and over again. Yes. I don't see it clear. And then we're going to put x squared. So x key and then x squared minus 
400 and then I'll press enter now I don't see anything um, well think what that is x squared minus 400 the minus 400 does what it shifts it down 400 units doesn't it so there's a reason why you can't see it this is the next zooming option I want to take a look at you can choose menu you can choose 4 for window zoom you see the fourth one says zoom out so I'm going to press 4 again now it's asking where we want to zoom out at and I'm going to move this to the center the origin that is and once I get there I'm going to press enter and that's where we're going to zoom out from so I press enter and I see parts of my graph but I'm going to do it one more time ah now I see it better and um, at this point you could change to a different zoom like if I want to zoom in just on my x-intercepts then I go back to menu choose 4 for window zoom and I'm going to choose zoom box so I'll choose 2 now then the mouse is really nice if you can I haven't had much luck my uh, TI Inspire I try to use a mouse and it's kind of all over the place um, but you know you can come over here you click here come down here you click here and all of a sudden you've expanded it to that area very nice if you if you're um, coordinated obviously I'm not um, but anyway that's on we did a zoom box based after we did a zoom out well, don't forget to set it back. You choose menu, choose four, and then you want to choose zoom standard, which is five. Now, um, if I also do the menu, and you see there's a, a number four. Um, once we choose that, there's a window settings, the first one. If I go ahead and just press enter on it, see it's asking you for x min, x max, x scale, uh, so forth. Well, I can um, put in negative 40 for the X min. Ah, uh, go back to that for window settings. Okay, down arrow, and I'll change this to 40. And down arrow, and um, let's see. I'm going to change that to 10. So remember this, negative 40 to 40 by 10s. And for my Y value, I'm going to go from uh, negative 500. I'm doing a down arrow to go to this. And then I'm going to go up to 100. Remember what I said, our setter graph has shifted down 400 units. And back on that, and I'll have this go by hundreds. And um, obviously, if I press enter, it'll take, but you can down arrow and highlight OK and press enter. And we get this. Now, notice these the, what this uh, says negative 40 to positive 40. And it's going by tens. So this will be negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. My bottom tick mark is negative 500, top one is 100 goes by hundreds. So that's negative 400, negative 300, negative 200, negative 100, 0, 100. Very nice feature. Uh, if I come here to menu and if I choose 4 for window zoom and we go to window settings, I'll press 1. Instead of uh, negative 40, let me put it in 50. Let's see what kind of error we get. So um, I'll come down. Notice my X min is greater than my X max, which can't be right. So down to OK, press Enter, and it says error invalid value minimums must be smaller than maximums. So that tells you you need to fix it then. So then you come up here and you can set it what it should be. And now if I go down, then it works. Now let's say you, you screw up your zooming. Do not do not forget to set your zooming back to your standard uh, viewing window. You choose your menu, and then you want to choose 4 for window zoom, and then you want to choose 5 for zoom standard. And that always sets back to your standard viewing window from negative 10 to 10, and what looks like negative 6.43 to positive 6.43. And that's zooming on a TI Inspire calculator.